Christy Lopez with Rich Girl Network TV, and we are honored to be here at the Beverly Hilton Hotel for the Friendly House Luncheon Gala. We cannot wait to speak to our honorees and the celebrity guests here on the red carpet. And so why is it important for you to be here to support this cause and women? Well, anytime women particularly can support women, I'm always behind that. Um, I don't like when people try to say women sabotage women because I think hopefully we're being more progressive and I think that we are supporting each other more. But mainly I think, you know, we all have self-worth issues and addiction problems and things we need to work on. And this isn't just like verbal help. This is actually taking you out of your home environment and putting you into a place. Because sometimes when you're in your home, you fall into these like patterns and, and you know, repetitive things because you're used to being in your home. It's kind of hard. I think it probably makes it harder to kick habits. You know what I mean? So the support system that they provide is really extraordinary. And, um, you know, it's really inspiring to see these women face their fears and their addictions and get better and become productive people in society and this organization really helps them to do that so anything to help support that is I'm behind so yeah absolutely and you just see the growth in the support as well and I think this is the time of just women empowerment so for you how do you just empower yourself on a daily basis well, that's a very nice question um, you know I don't care who you are what age you are uh, self-worth issues is always something that I've wrestled with and I know a lot of girls and women do. It's still something that I always work on. And I always admire the women that are, I don't, they don't, they're always comfortable in their own skin. I, I really admire that. And for others, it takes work to do that. I think number one is if you see a beautiful woman, that's a beautiful thing. You should never be threatened. It's about what's inside and try to inspire women. I that, know that sounds corny, but it makes you feel better. It's empowering and it's a much more healthy, non-toxic way to live. Like, for example, I'm on a show right now called Arrow, and the girl who plays my daughter is so lovely um, and so supportive. And I run around in these little hoochie mama outfits sometimes, and I'm so grateful that she um, sees me, you know. And, and there's, it's never with any, not, not just her, but with anybody. It's not, it's not who's got this and who doesn't have this. It's about we're all so different and unique. So, you know, listen, one day we're all bloated, one day we're not. I mean, it is what it is. So I really, I'm, as I've gotten older, I'm really into supporting other people. It makes me happy. I like, to, I like to inspire women. I like to see them be their best selves. So yeah, this organization is really emblematic of that. So yeah. All of that was so perfectly said. Again, even more flawless. <laughs> so I have to say, thank you so much. We see you as someone who is always just owning it. Really? And just always just so, you know, supportive of, of everything that you do, you know. And so thank you so much for being here and continuing to do what you do. So nice. You look fabulous. Thank you. Absolutely perfect. Thank you so much. So one, it's a Saturday morning. We could be anywhere else. And we're here for a great cause. Why is it important for you to be here today? Oh my gosh, there are so many people that are affected with addiction and so many families. I don't think I know anyone in my life that doesn't have a family member, a friend, or a parent that's been affected by this disease. And so I think it's so important to be, especially a woman, supporting another cause that supports women and another cause that supports addiction. And I feel like there is really no place, I think it's my social obligation and responsibility to be here today and to show my love and support because I know many people think it's an ill I think a lot of people think it's it's something that you can prevent and it is a disease and so I think the more that we can get that knowledge out there and the more that we can help others afflicted with this the better it will be out there in the world I love your message that was perfect and if you were to give someone a message personally um, what would you say to someone who is currently battling or just almost there and making it out? I'd say uh, fight with all your might because you will survive and thrive if you work towards something that you really want. You have to have it in your heart to want it, but if you ask for help, Ask other people to surround you with love and support and know that you're not alone. You can fight this disease and win. You're amazing. All of our followers and viewers would love to continue to support you. What are all of your social medias, if you don't mind sharing all of that? Absolutely. So Paige 
is just Paige, P-A-I-G-E. And then my personal one is Paige A. Geller, P-A-I-G-E-A -E Geller, G-E-L-L-E-R. And that's on um, Instagram, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Twitter, everything. So thank you, Paige. Thank Have you a so great much. time today. Enjoy. Thank okay, you. Well, you thank too. You thank you for your time too. Thank you. Like you it's a fun little afternoon event. Yes.